Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Valpo Football Weekly, along with head coach Dave Cicchini. This is Todd Eichow. Dave, we'll start by looking back at uh, Saturday's loss against Drake. I think you probably knew coming in, things had to go pretty smoothly, and maybe you had to take advantage of opportunities in the red zone, not turn the ball over. And from that standpoint, you sort of got behind the eight ball in those first two drives. When you got in the red zone, it only came away with three points. That sort of set the tone, I thought, for the first sure. half. Absolutely. You know, it was a really quick first quarter, really long drive by Drake. They get a touchdown. We respond with an equally long drive. Uh, we finish with three points. They come back in the second quarter, score again. Uh, it, it's crazy to think, well, it's a shootout at that time, but really either team, neither team had been stopped, uh, and then we went down and, and unfortunately missed the field goal. So you're right, so two great opportunities uh, to match touchdown for touchdown, and unfortunately we find ourselves down 14-3 to instead of being 14-14. And then the defense sort of kept you in it, and, and, and once again we see a drive at the end of the half just kind of gives you that deflating feeling right. from the other team. Right, exactly. So last play of the, the first half, fourth down, uh, a great uh, stand on the goal line for us, foiled at the last second, last play of the, of the first half. Uh, really proud of how our kids responded, though. The offense came out and probably put together our best drive of the afternoon, uh, receiving the opening kickoff for the second half, driving down the field, and Chris Duncan makes a uh, big touchdown pass to, to, to get us back into it. In, in all fairness, it, it was a resilient sort of effort because then you got behind in the fourth quarter. It looked like you were done, and, and you, you really got back in the game down 10 with the football. So as shorthand as you've been and as difficult as things have gone, you have to give a tip of the cap that the team has never quit. No, no question. And with all these younger players that have come in, you know, you worry about that sometimes, that they'll get down because uh, they just haven't been through those type of situations before. But our young guys uh, didn't hang their heads. They gave great effort on offense, defense, and in the special teams as well uh, and really fought us to get to the point where we found ourselves only down 10 points and driving with the football with about five minutes to go in the game. All right, Dave, let's look at where you are now. Obviously, it's been a difficult season. You can't hide that fact. And, and you look, you, you still have three ball games left. And where's the team morale-wise? And how do you look, look ahead to the final yeah, three games? Yeah, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to send our seniors out right. We know we've got three football games here against good quality uh, PFL opponents. We can certainly win all three of them if we stay focused and keep working hard and keep uh, uh, finding ways to get better. So uh, our, our players know that. Uh, our seniors have put in so much hard work and, and there's such a great group of, of young men that, that uh, we want to do everything we can uh, to send them out on a winning note. So that's kind of our inspiration right now and that's what we're doing as we put together our game plan, you know, getting forward, uh, looking ahead uh, here to Marist and, and hopefully we can uh, uh, give them a, a good ball game. Yeah, and I think you look at this group and it can almost be overlooked because how difficult the season has gone. But this group of seniors, this recruiting class you brought in, these guys are the true seniors. Mm -hmm. They've turned the program around. Yes. I mean, up and down, the Mason Sutters, uh, uh, Joey Diaz, Martinez, these guys who were like four-year starters who came in and into a program that was really struggling and turn it into something. Sure, sure, and absolutely. And, and regardless of what our record is right now, the, the, the ability, uh, the, the talent level, the depth of the program, our ability to compete, uh, it's certainly not reflective of what the record is, but our, our players know that and, and those seniors uh, coming in uh, where the program was not in this type of shape and being able to build this foundation and get us to the point of where uh, we had some success last year and, and uh, these guys played a big part of it last year and, and uh, are, we're going to feel the effects of our seniors for years to come when they leave. Um, let's look at Marist. We know one thing. They've got a receiver who's putting up outrageous numbers. Yeah. Tell us about Justin Christian. Yeah, yeah he's, he's an incredible uh, player. We, we've gone up against him uh, last year, and, and he was certainly a big concern then. Obviously, it was a big weather game with the, with the rain and, and the lightning delays, but uh, uh, he uh, has put together, he put together two incredible back-to-back -back receiving games, um, so we're going to have to know where he is all, at, at all times. However, that being said, against Moorhead last week, uh, Maris was able to effectively run the football. Had two running, uh, two uh, rushers with over 100 yards. So uh, that presents a unique challenge. You know, it's one thing if you can say, "Hey, we can go all out on on stopping their pass," uh, but now they've had this uh, amazing rushing performance, and and uh, it's a talented offense. All right. Good luck this week, Dave. All right. Thanks. For head coach Dave Cicchini, this is Todd Eichhorn. Thanks for joining us this week on Valpo Football Weekly.